Okay, so and let's start. Okay, let's see. Who can help with the first one? Okay, I see that Ali Misiri can help here. Yeah. Okay, so let's read it now. Yeah. Tyrone makes seven over 12. Cords yeah. red paint yeah. with one over 12 cords of yellow paint. How much paint does Ty Tyrone have in the mix? Yeah. Eight. It was a 12. How can we do that? How can we do that? Tell me how. Be because 7 was a 12. Uh, uh, eight so we're going to add or subtract? Add. Add. It will be 1 over 12. And then equal add them together. Eight. 7 plus e 1. Equal 8. Well, 8 over 12. Now we're going to divide it, right? Divide up and down. Divide up and down by what? Up and down with 8. With 8? 12 in table 8? Uh, no. We're going to search for a table that includes 8 and 12 together. Okay. Um. Okay, let's see. Okay. Divided by Let's four, see. divide by four, because eight and okay, twelve four. is equal four. So it will be uh, two yeah, over yeah. three. Two, two. Yeah, and uh, teacher, teacher. Yes, yes. I want my mic opened. Okay. The next one. Uh, okay, let's see. I need a bass. A bass. Abbas, are you there? Hello. Hi, Abbas. Next one, number 15. Mister, your, your son is going. Okay, we're going to add them together or subtract. We have this word. How much further? So you have to subtract. subtract. Six or eight. Minus Six. two over eight equals what? Uh, will be yes. Be four over eight. So it will be four over eight. Now, can we divide by what here? We will we can divide with. We will divide. Divide by what? Uh, we will divide it with four, right? Four. Because both of eight and four is equal four. So four divided by four equals one and over two. Mister, there's some. I didn't hear you. Abbas, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I will move to another one. Okay, what about Ryan El Gibran? Hi. Hi, Ryan. How are you? I'm doing good. By the way, after this question, can I keep my microphone open? Yeah, of course. Can you firstly let's read this question? Sure. Suling started an art project with one yard of field. She used two over six yard on Tuesday and three over six yard on Wednesday. How much felt does Suling have left? Okay, so what we're gonna do here? We, sub we subtract. Subtract because we have left, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, if I ask you a question, if I give you five reals, okay? Yes. And uh, let me see that Ferry Shady gave you uh, three reals. Okay. okay. Eight. Yeah. And 
you buy or you bought um, with six reals chocolate, okay? So how much money two. left with you? Two. How can you know? I subtract, uh, okay, I add um, so five. So what is the first step you, you, you did? What is the first step you did? You gave me five, and then Farad Shadi gave me three. At yeah. five and three reals together equals eight. Excellent. Then what I the meaning of together? So you, you, add, you're combining add, it together, so add. you have to add. So firstly, you have to add this together to know how much money that you have, right? Yes. And after that, you're gonna buy, you're gonna buy a chocolate with six reels. So, so I, you have to subtract, so it will be eight reels with you, that the total money you're gonna subtract six reels, so it will be two, two reels, right? Yes, I understand. So, now, Suling started and art project. So you have to understand the story, okay? Yes. To get it right. So sure. she starts the the project with one yard of feet, felt, okay? And after that, yes. she used two over six of this one yard to get in, in Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Okay? After Tuesday, she continued to use this one yard and you used three over six from this one yard on Wednesday. So how much filled does Suling have, have left? So you have to do it in two steps, okay? Yes. So firstly, what we're gonna do? We um, add two with three. Yeah, excellent. But to calculate uh, how many yards she used, okay? Five. So it will be two over six plus three over six. Hadi will be five over six. Here. Okay. So it will be two two plus three equals five. But one five yard one. equals. Okay, now, five over, now five over six, that the total amount that she used from the, the one yard, okay? So we want to take the one yard and remove five over six from the one yard. Okay, so what the meaning of remove, Ryan? Add or subtract? Subtract. So we're gonna subtract one minus five over six. Can you subtract it? Yes, it would be. Um, but first, we need to understand how many. Um, uh, before subtracting, we should know um, what is equals one yard. We should understand. No, no, no. We have two over six yard. What uh, two, uh, she yes. used? Two over six yard, as you see here. Two over six yard and three over six yard. So the total amount six, five over six yards, okay? Yeah, I know. So that, that the amount she used. But at the beginning of the project, she had one yard, one hole, mm -hmm. okay? So yes, if you I want know. to subtract, how can we subtract here? Okay. Five so minus six. Five different. minus six. Uh, no, six minus five. It would be minus one. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Um, I think uh, Amor can help. I I know. Okay. Let 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 I know. Amor explain. Okay, you. Mister. Yes, one, yes, Amor. Not one equals six over six. Yeah. So. Yes, that's what I know. I know that. Okay, you didn't say that. Yeah, but I was just saying it for like um the people that don't like they should understand first before subtracting. No, you have to part. explain for them. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay, so the one we can we can replace it with six over six, right? Yes. So yeah. now six over six. 
six minus five equals what? Equals one. One, one. over six. Six yards. That the total amount that left. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hassan. How are you? Fine. Okay. Can you read this one? Um, I'm great. Thank you for asking. Alio's hand at artwork on two over five of a bulletin board. She hung math papers on one over five of the same bulletin board. What part of the balloon board has a artwork or math papers? So what are we gonna do in this case? So he We're asked me about the 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 artwork and the math paper together. So we three have to. Over five. How can we do that? How can we get because that? We know five, that three over five. Because five and five is five. One over five. You're gonna add, right, Hassan? Yes. Yes. So one plus two equals three over five. Yes. So that's the answer. I told you. Yeah, thank you so much, Hassan. Okay, guys, write this, and then we're gonna move to chapter eight. Hurry up. Okay, let's see. Let's the next four multiples of the unit fraction. So he asked me to list the next four multiples. Four multiples. Multiples mean you have to write the, the okay, close the door, yes. So you have to write the multiplication table of the unit fraction that we have here. So the unit fraction we have here half. So you have to write the multiplication table of the half. So it will be one over two multiplied by two equals, as we all know, one multiplied by two equals two. And you have to keep the same denominator. So it will be two over two. And the next one, so two over two, put it here. And the next one, one over two multiplied by three. So we're gonna multiply one by three equals three and over two and we're gonna put it here and so on it will be four over two and five over two the next one we're gonna multiply by two one multiply by two equals two one multiply by three equals three one multiply by four equals four and one multiply by five equals five so that's it and it goes with all multiples if you need a, to get any multiples to a number or a fraction, you have to write the multiplication table to this number or this fraction. Okay, like the next one. List the next four multiples of the fraction. Okay, so he write it for me, the first fraction, and he needs the next four multiples of it. So we have two over five, and let's multiply it by two. And as we all know, if you want to multiply by two, so we're gonna multiply the numerator and the whole number. So we're gonna multiply it, two multiplied by two equals four over, we have to keep the same denominator. So it will be four over five, as you see here. And then two over five, we're gonna multiply by three to get the next multiple. So two by three equals six over, five so it will be six over five and the next one eight over five and then ten over five okay i need someone to help with number nine i think rakan ala will help yes okay rakan number nine Yes. Um, we want to five. list the next four multiples to five over nine. Five over six, sorry. Okay. Five multiplied by two equals ten. So we're going to start with two. Five over six multiplied by two. 
equals 10 over? Six. Six, okay. And that's the first one. Next one, five over six, multiply by three, yes? Equal 15 over six. Over six, okay. And the next one, five over six, multiply by what? Four. Multiply by four. Yeah, equal what? Equal 20. 20. 20 over six, and the last one, uh, five multiplied by five equal 25 over six. Excellent. So you have to write it all after that. Okay. Thank you so much, man. Meet yourself, please. Okay. The next one. I see that Yazan can help. Yes. Okay, Yazan. We have here four multiply by two over six. We, call, we, we want to write this product as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction. How can okay, we do okay. that? Multiply four multiply two equals eight. Yeah, great. So we're, we're gonna write eight as a whole number. Yes, yeah. and what did the unit fraction we're gonna use here? The unit fraction is one over six. One over six, because you have to start with the one up because it's unit fraction. Thank you so much, Yazan. Welcome. Okay. What about Karim Zayer or Yasser Zayer? Yes. How are you, Yasser? Fine. It's been a while that I uh, didn't see you. Can you turn Do on I your cam? Number 10? Can you turn on your cam? I want to see your face. Yeah, I missed you, man. How are Hello. you? Hi. Hi. Everything is okay? Yes. I hope so. Let's see the last one. Number 11. Number 11? Yeah. So as you see here, we have three multiplied by three over eight, right? Yes. So we're gonna multiply what by what here. We want to take a whole multiply number and then three by three. Three by three. Three by three, three, by three equals three. what? Equals nine. Nine multiply by what? Nine multiply by. We have to write mm. here a unit fraction. What the unit fraction we're gonna use here? What's the meaning of unit fraction, yes, sir? Mm. The unit fraction means you have to start with the one in the numerator. And what about the denominator? Eight. Eight, you have to keep the same. It's the same thing. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check your account on Think Central. You'll find a revision on it.